The pyramids are encoding the reset dates of our realm. After the destruction of Atlantis, the survivors spread out all over the world. And built the pyramids encoding the knowledge of the 26,160 year reset so the future generation could access this knowledge. Each star moves one degree every 72 years and it takes 26,000 for a star to complete a full cycle. The four angles of the Pyramid of Giza refer to the four signs of the zodiac of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. The four main stars belonging to these signs are the four guardians of heaven, Aldebaran in the Taurus constellation, Regulus in Leo, Antares in Scorpio, and Formal Hout that was once in Aquarius but now in Pisces. These stars keep the same position in relation to each other. Leo and Aquarius are the Sphinx and the Scorpio Taurus Eagle Axis is shown as a winged bull by the Babylonians. The symbolism of these constellations is encoded on so many old buildings. The Pyramid of Giza is an astronomical clock. The Sphinx's head marks the completion of a cycle every 26,000 years.
a man named Grabenikov from Russia. Uh, Grabenikov was kind of a uh, non-conventional scientist. He was an entomologist, did a lot of work with uh, you know, bugs, entomology. And his favorite thing was to go out into the steppes of Russia and into the various outer hinterlands and camp out in the summers and uh, study his favorite subject. And on one of these expeditions, uh, he started seeing some weird effects. Uh, show that there was a, he found a certain bug that didn't fly, it levitated. And this was, uh, he'd, he'd put this bug in, into a little uh, vial or something, and he saw this vial jumping up off the lab table, jumping up and down. And of course, this is patently impossible based on any time of normal physics. So he got into this, and he found out that the, the bug wings themselves uh, were creating an anti-gravity phenomenon under certain conditions. I, I think I found the bug, actually, actually a beetle. And if you analyze this bug structure, you see a hexagonal pyramid structure array throughout the entire bottom wing of this bug. And uh, anyway, he took a whole bunch of these bug wings and he glued them to like a Venetia blind structure and he put it into, into a little platform he built. So they, they were all, it, these bug wings were all covered in here. And he used the, I theorize he used the wing covers as well as the inner wing itself. There's also a kind of a handlebar on this thing uh, with some controls. You can see a thing a little better here in detail. Uh, the controls, I think, had to be manipulated continuously and probably vibrated to create the same action that the bug was doing. There was also down at the base some kind of a lever, which I suspect controlled the amount of uh, lift he was getting out of this thing. Anyway, Grabenikov claimed that he could fly this thing or levitate it, and it would go around at a thousand, almost a thousand miles an hour. He said that there there was an energy field that built up around this thing due to this and by uh, this thing building up it built out a force field that basically surrounded him and protected him from the local environment. This is the platform with him on it about three to six feet above the ground because here's the shadow here down below. 